who does that? Like, why would I do that? So I need to calm down. That's right. I need to calm down. It is a new day. Welcome back to Vlogmas with Cicely Justine here. If you are new, I make videos about sister locks, lifestyle, womanhood, and fashion. And for the month of December, I'm going to be posting on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So be on the lookout. And if you watch me and you like my vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. And y'all, I need your help to get there. See, like 80% of y'all be watching and won't subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. I don't get paid if y'all hit the subscribe button. It's not like I get $5 for every subscriber or something like that. That'll be nice, but I don't. So go ahead, support your girl. Hit that subscribe button. The community didn't bother me today <laughs> about filming uh, while I was working out. Um, I kind of was sneaking and doing it. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's neither here or there um i just had i would say a light workout i focus on back and core and when i walk i feel a jiggle in my booty i feel a jiggle in my booty when i walk y'all yes shout out to my trainer she is so good at what she does and i really like how she trains me because she's training me to have like a feminine fit body like i don't want to be walking around here looking like a man like i want to look feminine sexy and toned all in the right places and i'm just excited but i'm really glad i went to the gym that's going to make three times this week because i'm going to meet with my trainer tomorrow and i'm just excited i'm really liking the results that i'm seeing in my body already uh, my diastasis is getting a little better it's going to take time i'm having patience with getting my core muscles to come back together you know it's just going to take time and i am going to start seeing a pelvic floor therapist starting in january again this will be my fourth pelvic floor therapist but i'm hoping that she can also help me you know reach my goal of closing my diastasis like that's what i want i want my abs back i want my stomach back and i don't want to have to pay for it like i already have the muscles to be able to do what a waist trainer does or what a corset does i have the muscle i have the natural corset in my muscles they just need some help and some patience and some tender love and care to come back together and it is what it is on that let me head back home wash my lashes and then go get my lashes done for those who want to know how i wash my lashes i take a paper towel put water on it and then i wring it like that on the eyelash then I take this eyelash cleaner, wet it, and I got like this foam, um, kind of like a foam soap. Um, and then I just put it on the brush. Can't see, hold on. Okay. And then I just kind of go like that and brush downward. And then I just take that same paper towel, wet it a little bit more, and wring it out. And that's that. I'm going to go kind of pat it dry like that using a towel. And then do the same thing to the other side. Hello, y'all. Look at my lashes. Yes. 
Yes, and I'm about to go mess them up. <laughs> yes, I'm about to go mess them up because I booked the facial right after getting my lashes done. Like, who does that? Like, why would I do that? <laughs> So I'm gonna go get a facial, but I reached out to my esthetician and she said that she has some goggles for me. So we'll see. But even if I mess up my lashes, my lash tech is so good that she said she'll do a free touch up, you know, within the first three days. So, so thankful for her. Shout out to her. I'm gonna leave her information below so y'all can check her out just in case y'all are in the Tampa, Brandon, Riverview area looking for a lash tech. So yeah, I am about to be getting off work Let's see, yep. I was released early from work and I'm excited for my facial. I haven't had a facial in a while. It's about time. Like I said, I wanna get my oil. Uh -oh. I wanna get my oils under control, whatever, cause my T-zone is just out of control. So I gotta remember to take pictures of uh, the products that I'm using so that she can know what I'm using and it's kind of you know, dissect it from there, seeing what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and so forth and so forth. So, all right, let me enjoy my breakfast, y'all, and I'm gonna catch y'all at my appointment. got them fed and now i think let me see what time is it hmm. i think it's time to start organizing this office that's what i think but right now i got this headache and it's like a self-induced headache like <laughs> let me tell y'all why okay so i have an idea that i'm gonna start working on right and I get worked up and excited about this idea that I got and I don't quite want to share it yet because I'm still trying to kind of format everything in my mind and kind of make it real in my mind first. I need to talk to God about it first because if God's not with it, I'm not with it. So I need to talk to God about it and kind of go from there so that's why i'm not gonna tell y'all kind of what my idea is or what i'm trying to work up um but i get excited about it and then i get like nervous and anxious <laughs> because i'm so excited and because i'm so nervous and anxious about this idea that might potentially come to fruition i get a headache <laughs> so i'm fighting a headache right now i think the only thing i want to do is take a bath <laughs> probably literally get in the bathtub and go to bed because <laughs> although I really do need to get in this office I'm not in the mind frame because I got too much on my mind right now so I need to calm down that's right I need to calm down kind of come back to earth and talk to God get myself together calm my nerves so that's what I'm going to do this evening I hope y'all have enjoyed the day with me, but um, I'm gonna pick back. I'm gonna pick y'all back up tomorrow because tonight is just not it. So I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Sorry about yesterday. I feel much much better. I need to go see my therapist. I told y'all a while back that I had stopped seeing my therapist for like two months because I had canceled one appointment and then I just never followed up and. I need to contact her again. That's what it is. Um, but I did pray. I prayed hard. And I was like, God, if this idea is something that you want me to do, then please slap me in the face with it. Let me know for sure that this is a part of your plan. If not, also slap me in the face with it. And let me know that this is not a part of your plan. But I really need your help, Lord, to remove this anxiousness you know surrounding my idea that i had 
and he did that and he did that so quickly y'all he did that so quickly like god is so good like i'm just so thankful for the relationship that i have with god and that he really comes through right on time and like when you pray you have to realize that either the answer is going to be yes the answer is going to be not now and or the answer is going to be i got something better in store you know what i'm saying so i'm just i'm just grateful i feel better um i'm going to wait um on god on this idea i'm not just gonna like jump the gun or anything like that so we will see what life has in store but anyway i am here at the gym waiting to go see my trainer i don't know what we're working on today because yesterday we did back back and core i don't know what she's gonna have me do today she might have me do full body today oh lord oh child <laughs> but this is what I want I want to stay fit I want to be fit all around I want my stomach to heal so this is what I'm going to have to do and I'm going to do it okay she's in love with who I am back in high school I used to bust it to the dance now I hit that yo with duffels in my hands I didn't have a 13 hours till I land, happy house like a light day, like a light day. To get my kids ready I don't know what's going on can you put your seatbelt on please Micah Micah's tired he didn't really want to go Eli crying non-stop and making himself sick it's like he makes himself sick he made himself sick literally like he's spit up trying to get ready I, I almost said I ain't going. We just gonna stay at the house. But I want to get out. It's nice outside, but it's hot outside. It's 84 degrees. I'm talking about Michael put on his seatbelt. I need to put on my own seatbelt. But anyway, where are we headed? So we are going to this Christmas kind of like parade shindig at my um, friend Tanisha's community. They always have something nice going on. You know, my community, I can't stand them. And the reason why is because they also have an event today, but in big, bold letters, it says, for our residents only. And I'm like, what if we got family in town? What if we got friends? Like, why are y'all so petty? Y'all got food trucks and vendors coming. Don't, don't they want to get some business? Oh, but it really does get those natural endorphins like moving, so. Next week, I'm working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm excited. Uh, also, next week, we are going to film a podcast. It is time for us to film a podcast. If you are new here, I do have a podcast called The C and Co Show with my co-host, Coco. And it goes down over there. It goes down over there. Like, y'all need to go over there and check it out. We just recently posted an episode talking about my opinions on Young Jeezy and Jenny Ma's situation and my feedback after the um, Nia Long interview. And then now this news coming out that he cheated, which I knew he cheated. I knew that. I mean, he's a narcissist. And I get into why I feel like he's a narcissist. And yeah, and let's get into this festival. So we are here just hanging out everybody's just kind of eating Eli's doing his own thing Eli is at a point where he don't really want to listen to me and he really doesn't want to uh, do what I tell him to do um, I think we're entering a late terrible two I don't know what this is usually when I tell him to do something he do it now he shakes his head and does the opposite so I don't really know what that's about <laughs> hopefully that gets better where he is. Eli! 
He's just kind of in his own world and la la land. I had to leave because I was getting a headache and I just had to come home. So I just came home, got something to eat, fed the kids. I feel better though. I feel better. I took some medicine. I feel better. Um, but we had a good time. Uh, we got some family coming in town tomorrow. So I got to make up this bed. I call Eli my shadow. Wherever I go, Eli is right behind me. I can't do nothing without Eli. Nothing. But um, it was a really cute event. Like I said, I like to go to that neighborhood because they're not petty like mine. They're just not petty. But anyway, y'all let me know because I got some food. I got some fried catfish. And what I'm trying to figure out is how do you make catfish that don't taste good? Like fried catfish, you're supposed to use a, a special kind of batter for that. It seems like they use the batter. I don't know what kind of batter that they use. But the batter just wasn't battering. <laughs> the batter wasn't battering. It was bad. It didn't have no season in it. Like fried catfish, I'm expecting. I don't know how to. I don't know how to explain it. Y'all know what y'all expect when y'all order some fried yeah. catfish. This just wasn't it. This just wasn't it. But I ain't going back. And it explains why nobody was in that restaurant on a Saturday night. I should have known when I walked in and wasn't nobody there. It was empty. Should have known. <laughs> so just in case y'all kind of want to know the backstory of these lights. That needs to be fixed. Um, I got a heart over here. Um, so the backstory is I set up these lights for when I, um, was pregnant and I thought that I wanted to have a home birth. So I thought that I was going to have my birthing tub in here. I thought that I was going to have my cute lights in here, feel, you know, just comfortable at home in my own space, but that didn't happen. Um, if you kind of want to know my failed home birth story, I will link that below for you all. But yeah, that's the reason why I have lights in here because that was the plan. And I just kind of kept them in here. And people who stay here love it. So I'm going to keep it that way. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watch to the end, you obviously like my vibe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. And I'll see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.